Hey everyone, I hope you're doing so well. I'm coming to you today with a look that came um, requested to me by one of my beautiful subscribers. Um, she is getting married and is attending an event for her engagement party and requested a look to go with her Indian outfit, which is um, sort of a dual toned blue outfit with white rhinestones and gold embroidery. Um, something that's simple that isn't too matchy with the outfit but complements it nicely. So this is what I came up with. Please stay tuned for how to do this look. Okay, so let's get started. I've already primed my eyelid with Too Faced Shadow Insurance all the way up to the brow. Now I'm going to add a couple of paint pots as base colors. The first one, just to the lid without going past the crease, is the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in Chilled on Ice. And just apply this to the lid right around the tear duct and all the way across don't go past the crease and right under the brow I'm going to apply a MAC Pro Longwear paint pot in lay and low and this is just going to go all the way across the whole length of the brow it'll just give the color something to adhere to now to brighten up a little bit further under the brow, I'm going to apply Benefit's uh, Brow Lifting Pencil in High Brow. I'll just draw a line tracing the arch or the shape of my brow and then I'm also going to put a little bit around the tear duct and then using a small flat shader brush, I'm going to go ahead and blend these colors out. Next, using a larger flat shader brush, I'm going to apply MAC Vanilla Pigment all over my lid, just over where I applied the first paint pot and that highbrow pencil. Um, the reason I'm using vanilla is because the bride asked me for a very simple look without going too matchy with the outfit she's wearing. Um, the outfit she's wearing is sort of a two-toned blue with uh, white rhinestones and gold embroidery so I figured um, because vanilla sort of has a pearlized finish to it um, I'll just apply that to the lid. Um, so basically what I did was I applied some color to the brush and I'm just pressing it into um, the lid or of the container just to pack the color onto the brush to minimize fallout and then I'll just pat this color onto my lid and again around the tear duct without going past the crease. Alright, as the transition color in the crease or the upper crease area, I'm going to apply a color that is more of a nude shade with a lilac undertone to it. This is O by MAC and I'll use a fluffy blending brush to apply this right above the crease and go all the way across. Now the amount you apply here may vary depending on the size of your lid because my lid space is um, uh, fairly vast for lack of a better term I can get away with using a lot but you may not want to use so much if you have a smaller space to work with so just be aware of that this color is literally just um, acting as a transition color between whatever I put here in the crease and whatever I put as a highlight up here it'll just sort of um, act as a gradient between the darker to the lighter colors now to deepen the crease a little bit more, I'm going to uh, use a denser blending brush. This is the MAC 217 brush, I believe. I don't know the color, the number has worn off. And uh, MAC Eyeshadow in Foley. This is a little bit of a deeper shade of brown with a somewhat purpley red undertone. So it goes well with this look. What I'll do is I'll press this color onto the outer corner of the upper lid and then work it into the crease going all the way across almost the kind of meeting this 
area around the tear duct, but not going into that area right around the tear duct. Now, if you just want to keep it super simple, just stop here, but uh, just for the sake of a little bit of drama, because it is more of a special event, I am going to add an even darker color to the outer portion of my eyelid. I'm going to use a flat, I'm sorry, an angled um, shading brush. It's a little bit fluffier than the eyeliner ones. And then Shadowy Lady by MAC, I'm going to tap the brush into the color, lay it on the outer lid, sort of going from the end of the lid pointing towards the brow, and then just kind of bring the color in at an angle. Um, we're going to focus this color on the outer corner. You don't need to go too far into the crease. It's just adding a little bit of drama on the outside of the lid. So that's what it should look like at this point. There's a little bit of a harsh line between the um, outer crease color that I applied earlier. So I'm going to go back into it with the fluffy brush and just sort of blend along the outer edge of that dark color. Just to make for a smooth transition. Next we're going to go ahead and apply a little bit of Shadowy Lady to the lower um, lash line using a very small flat brush. Um, we're going to focus the color on the outer portion of the lower lid, um, probably on the outer one third and once the main color is sort of deposited over there just blend whatever's remaining on the brush inwards towards the tear duct with, um, without touching this brighter area here. As a final step for all the eyeshadow colors that are on my lids today, I'm going to go ahead and apply a highlight color um, on top of what's already there to the tear duct area and right under the arch of the brow. This is Victoria's Secret Illuminating Face Powder in fixation and I'm just using a small brush bringing some of that color right here and then a little bit right underneath the brow or right underneath the arch of the brow not too much All right, with the eyeshadow complete, I'm going to go ahead and apply my eyeliner. First, I'm going to use the Marc Jacobs um, Highliner Gel Crayon in Blacker and apply this to the lower and upper water lines. Next, I'm going to apply my Revlon Color Stay Liquid Liner in Blackest Black. Just to the upper lid, I'm going to go thin on the inside and wing it on the outside, sort of following this angle that I created here with Shadowy Lady. And then I'm going to apply one coat of um, Clump Crusher by Lash Blast CoverGirl Mascara in very black to the upper and lower lashes. And then as a second coat to my upper lashes, I'm going to apply YSL baby doll mascara and this is just in I, I'm not sure how many colors it comes in it's a it's the black color and I'll be right back okay so now you may at this point want to groom your eyebrows and really because my eyebrows are so thick the most I do is apply a wax sort of crayon to my brows, like so. This is the Givenchy um, Mr. Eyebrow Eyebrow Fixing Pencil. Um, Anastasia does a great one. That's the one that I use in my kit. This Givenchy one is the one that I use in my for personal use because I don't want to put the one that I like less in my kit. Now, um, then what I do is I take an angled sort of spoolie. This one's by Sonia Kashuk. Got it from Target for like $1.99 or something like that. And I just brush my brows into place. 
Now, if you're going to draw your brows in, um, I would just advise against using any colors that are too harsh and too dark because you don't want too much of a stark contrast between your eyes and your eyebrows, um, especially on your wedding day if you're a bride. Softer looks always kind of look more natural, so. I seriously could spend hours grooming my brows because they're insane. Now, um, on normal brides I do contours, but because this is something that, um, a look that we're going to just to be a little bit simpler, I'm just going to apply a blush and a highlight today. For my blush, I am applying MAC Breath of Plum. And then as the highlight, I am applying Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Radiant Light. And this highlight is going to go the tops of my cheekbones, around the brow, down the bridge of the nose, on the chin, and just at the base of the lower lip and at the cupid's bow to make the lips look a little fuller. And the way I'm applying the blush is just to the apples of the cheek and then dragging it back just for a softer look. All right, now that the highlight and blush colors are complete, I'm going to go on with the lip color. And for this, I'm going to go with more of a softer nude pink, um, just to go in with the blushing bride look. It's just a little softer look. So the first color I'm going to use is my lipstick, which is the Lancome Rouge and Love lipstick in, I believe it's 200B. So just put this all over your lips. Okay, and to deepen the color a little bit more, I'm putting a darker lip liner uh, outside my lips. This is Plum by MAC. And then I'm going to use my finger to blend it in. And finally, I'm going to add a touch of lip gloss to the center of my lips. This is the Buxom Lip Gloss in Claire, and this will just help plump the, make the lips look a little bit more plumped and fuller. Alright, and with my lip color complete, I've completed my look for today, which came from one of my lovely subscribers, who happens to be my cousin who's getting married. Um, she requested a... Um, a look to go along with her um, engagement party outfit which is an Indian outfit and but a simpler look that isn't too matchy as usual Indian looks go when when it comes to Indian bridal um, I truly hope you enjoyed that you found this useful please stay tuned for plenty more and have a